Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to YixR Us. Today, you're going to think that we've gone insane. The last 24 hours have been absolutely ridiculously crazy. Previous to that, the past couple of weeks have already been a little bit stressful. I'm sure you've already heard about the COVID-19 virus that's going on. And yesterday afternoon, they announced that all schools across Ontario, all publicly funded schools across Ontario, are going to be shut down until April 5th. I started freaking out because up till now, I've been concerned, but relatively calm about it. And now that they're shutting down the schools, I'm like, <laughs> maybe we should prep a little bit more. Yeah, maybe we should get a couple of extra things to kind of pull us through, hold us, sustain us until this virus kind of goes past. Because basically we are going to be self-isolating ourselves for approximately three weeks. We're kind of self-isolating. Um, we're just going to go out of the house as little as possible, I think. I don't think, unless, I don't think we have to be under full strict quarantine, but definitely avoid crowds, avoid events and things like that. I probably still will be going to work. Uh, but that's about it. Ginevra and Nathaniel are going to be home. Um, and Nelson's going to be working from home as well. So anywho, long story short, um, we did the absolute biggest grocery haul ever in my entire life, minus working at the restaurant. Like, insane. And you guys know me. I always say, that, oh, I got such a great deal on this. I got such a great deal on that. There ain't no deal here, guys. There's no deal at all. I didn't care about deals. I didn't even go. I just sent Nelson out to go and I said, get these items and whatever else you think we need. So Nelson made sure that we would have what we need for probably the next couple of months, just in case poop really does hit the fan and we are in complete lockdown where everything is closed. Right, Boo? He says, he is a man of very few words. But still show him some love and give him a thumbs up. Anyways, before I commence this video, can you please make sure if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it. And if you enjoyed this video or you think I'm absolutely nuts, give me a big fat thumbs up and show us some, lots of love during this very stressful time because I am stressed. You can tell that I'm stressed out when I talk fast. And this is me talking fast. I need to wusa. <sighs> It ain't working. I'm still going to go talk fast, yeah. Basically, what you're about to see is mostly things that will not perish in the very near future. They have a longer shelf life and things. The crazy thing is we went up to our local Walmart, which is usually quite calm and serene and always fully stocked. And I'm going to insert some pictures here of some of the things that Nelson showed me. And oh my gosh, like the shelves were legit bare, like bare. And then I saw also that um, on Twitter that places were lining, they like had line up out the door for people to, with shopping carts trying to get in. And then at a specific Loblaws downtown Toronto, there were people that were like lined up wrapped around the inside of the store trying to pay for their food. And Nelson said that overall, everyone was really calm. There were a couple of idiots. And I use that word very sparingly, guys. I'm a very level, loving person. And very rarely would I ever label anyone an idiot, but there were some idiots. So please, please people, don't be an idiot. Thank you. That's my rant. <laughs> I've met a couple the last couple of days. So, anyways, without further ado, let's see how crazy we got, shall we? All right, here we go. Oh my god, it looks even worse from this angle. Nelson is directing this today. So, because um, basically, I did no shopping, and whenever I go shopping, I'm either couponing or price matching or both. And no such thing happened yesterday. Um, yeah, I figured he wouldn't even price match and he's already undergoing such a large task that I didn't want to stress him out by saying, make sure you price match, please. This will probably be the most expensive food haul, grocery haul I will ever experience. Hopefully that I will ever experience because it will not last forever, guys. All right, so let's start off with a bag of potatoes. Potatoes, potatoes. So these are great because I can grow them too. <laughs> I have a plan. If it really is an apocalypse, I'm gonna grow potatoes. 
Just like that movie with uh, Matt Damon, the one that he gets launched out of the planet and he's stuck on Mars forever. Anyways, potatoes, Yukon Gold. Normally, I'll get these for like a buck ninety nine, or sometimes even ninety nine cents or a dollar something. I'm gonna think that you paid five bucks for this. Five dollars is correct. Yes, but oh, that's so sad that I'm correct too. Next is dried apricots. Some people call them apricots. I call them apricots. So let's do the apricots and the raisins. I'm going to guess that they're somewhat similar in price. It's not a brand name thing. Um, this is just for extra fiber in case we run out of things to help us let things flow. This is great for my granola because I make homemade granola and also um, it's yummy banana bread, but Jennifer doesn't like it. I'm going to guess these were $4 each. $4 is correct. Oh my god, I'm good, but that also really sucks again. <laughs> Basically, I'm taking what I would normally pay and adding on about 30 to 50%. Okay. I hope I'm wrong. 12 bucks? 12 bucks, no. $4, well, eight. You can't do that for every single item. Okay, I have to, he wants me to move along. Centrum vit vitamins. I still have uh, some prenatal vitamins left, so I'm just finishing those up, and I have an extra bottle of that, so they didn't buy vitamins for me, but Nelson was running low on vitamins. He maybe had like 10 left, so it's time to get them anyways. So Centrum for him, and you didn't get the gummies? There were no gummies. They, there were no gummies? Were, were they low on vitamins? Were the gummies? Yes. Oh my god. Wow, crazy. Okay, so she got the chewable vitamins. She's not gonna like these. You just know that, right? Ah. Okay, anyways. Um... <laughs> Crush them up, put it in her yogurt. Sure. Okay, so I want to guess for yours, $17.99. Don't have a, a price is right. Yeah, price is wrong. Oh. $15. Okay, all right, that's good. Because I think the last time we bought these, we got them for like 10 bucks. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm feeling a little bit better about that. All right, and then for hers, I'm going to guess 13 bucks. $20. Oh, sorry. Beep! Crazy, really? Oh. All right. Well, I guess I haven't bought kids' vitamins in a while. Okay, all right. Moving on. All right, so we bought a fancy schmancy new coffee fillers maker, which I want to show you in a later video, but it is delicious and I love it. But we kind of fell in love with these things here. Caramel vanilla and French vanilla coffee whiteners because that way we can save more milk for Ginevra in case there is a shortage or we just can't get out to get it like if someone falls sick and I'm gonna guess that these were five bucks each that is correct oh good I'm doing pretty good here doing pretty good okay next thing here sticking with our coffee theme a bag of beans a bag of beans coffee beans guys that's his medium rose lavaza I heard this was pretty good and it looks pretty fancy schmancy uh I can't smell anything. Is there a scent patch? A scent patch, that's so Avon of me. Is there a scented page that I can rub? <laughs> I don't know, 15 bucks. $20. Why did you pay $20 for this? Starbucks was $20. No, Starbucks was more. We got Starbucks at Costco for 20 bucks. I was not at a Costco. Oh, that's true. He didn't wanna. And I don't blame the guy. I don't want him to wait in line and several different like twenty dollars for non Starbucks coffee beans. N nothing against nothing against well, this company. We've never tried coffee it. Coffee beans, but it was just more expensive than Costco. Oh, okay. Here we go. All right, this thing here. I've never talked to you guys about this. We call this Yao Ji Ta, and that no does not mean having baby tea which is what I usually, I first translated it as, but it's basically, it's a Korean honey tea with a citrusy fruit. It's really good for if you have like a sore throat or if you have a cough or cold. Um, if you add, you can dilute it and make it uh, like a warm drink. Just don't use boiling water because that'll kill all the vitamin C. And, or you can spread this on toast like marmalade. Yum, yum, yum. I'm gonna guess it's $7.99. $5. Oh, excellent, was that on sale? Yes. Yay! Yay for sale! See, I'm happy again. This we did not get at Walmart. We went to he went to both Walmart and TNT, and surprisingly, TNT was less busy than Walmart. I was very surprised by that. But yeah, this is in case anyone gets sick and needs a dose of vitamin C. Sesame oil, sesame oil. This is our my liquid gold. I use this all the time in my cooking, especially for Chinese food. Well, only for Chinese food. I'm gonna guess it's not sale. Five ninety nine. Yes. Mm, yeah. Mm. 
I bought a non on sale before just because I needed it. Ocean's Flaked Tuna in Water. This is my canned meat. Well, one of my canned meat choices that we got. Um, yeah, flaked light tuna. I usually get this for like 88 cents or less. I will guess a buck. Buck 50. Whoa! That's okay. My child needs protein. Bananas, just because you never eat bananas. I know these will not last in an apocalypse, but it's just, it's a banana. It's for her to eat this week, actually, because that's her favorite fruit, bananas. Um, regular price, 57 cents a pound. By kg, a dollar or something, a kg, dollar seven. Yeah, you're close. Dollar 23 per kilogram. Yeah, that's regular price. That's fine. Let's go to miso soup. All right, miso soup with tofu, green onions, wakame, and fried tofu. Wow, this stuff is loaded. Totally loaded. Okay, so miso soup is easy. It's fast. It's just little packages of it. Um, I'm going to guess this was five bucks. Nine dollars. <sighs> oh, 20 servings. Okay, okay, that's that's better. I didn't read the serving side. So some of this is open. This is open because I was ha we bought this all last night, but I was having such a bad allergic reaction. My eyes were super red. I couldn't, my eyes could not stop tearing. So I took one already. Um, Claritin. 30 tablets, 20 bucks. $19. All right, not bad, not bad, livable. If you know me personally, you know that I'm not a baker. I'm not a baker, but I'm going to try to bake bread for my family in the case that we run out of fresh bread and because that's something that Ginevra absolutely loves to have. I mean, I wanna to try to make bread anyway. So we, Nelson got me a container of instant yeast I have no idea how much this would cost because I've never bought it before, but I'm going to guess 12 bucks. Five dollars. Oh, that's so cheap. Oh, okay. That makes me happy. Going with the theme of bread and baked goods, we also bought not one, but two bags of flour. These are all-purpose flour. I normally use all-purpose flour because I don't know how to use any other flour. These are five kg each, which is what? Like just over 10 pounds? I wanna say they were 10 bucks each. Nine dollars. Nine dollars, yeah, it's not a good price. Not a good price, but, and because it's also, it's not the name brand one. It's a great value brand, which I've, I've been told that it's exactly the same thing, it's just a different packaging. So I'm gonna believe it. And we won't know a difference, but it's still not a great price, yes. Ovaltine Classic Chocolate Flavored? It's a malt drink mix. It's like a kind of like a cereal drink. I grew up on this. You can put two tablespoons of it into hot water, or I add in hot milk, and then um, yeah. So I add in hot milk, and then you can add sugar if you want or condensed milk. Uh, the other thing I do with this is I add it to my coffee, and it tastes really, really good. There's this one. There's also the white one, but the white one's Horlicks. But yeah, it has milk ingredients in it. Oh, it does have cocoa powder. This has chocolate in it. But I grew up on this, so it's supposed to be fairly nutritious. Oh, hey, you can serve a cold too. I didn't know that. Uh, six bucks. Five dollars. Five dollars, all right. These babies here, canned fruit. Nelson got four of them. This is in case there's no fresh fruit or we can't get out to bed, get fresh fruit for just a little bit of vitamins. Actually, I don't know how much vitamins would there be in here. <laughs> the vitamin intake is actually very dismal. 2% of your vitamin A, 2% of your vitamin C, 2% of your calcium, and 2% of, of your iron. Oy. Okay, actually has not much nutritional value, but that's okay. Maybe it has some fiber. It has 4% of our daily value of fiber, 6% of our carbohydrates. Yeah, eh, if any case, make a fruit salad. I want to guess these were two bucks. Three dollars. Three dollars? Okay. That's fine. Three dollars. I'm glad we only have four. This is a really expensive shopping trip. Next, what we're going to talk about is we are going to talk about juice boxes. Ta-da! Here, so we have some juice boxes here. One, two, three, four. He got four packages of juice boxes um, of apple juice. Uh, it's just it's a, a bit of an extra treat, too. Or if we need to... I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking when I told him to get some juice boxes. I was actually thinking he was going to get the big juice boxes, but when he heard juice boxes, he got these ones. Because the big ones, for example, if you got the mango one or the they pineapple one. They are called one, juice cartons. Oh, I'm sorry. They're called juice cartons. I thought when I said juice box, he would assume juice cartons. Now, why would I think that? I don't know. Comment below. Yes. If What do you think? 
if you think that if I said a juice box, would you say this or the actual carton one? Like, I just, and I just answered my own thing. I mean, poop, I just answered my own thing. <laughs> No, there's the bigger juice boxes. Anyways, comment below if you're Team Nelson and you think that this is a juice box or you're Team Jesse thinking that the bigger ones could also be a juice box. Comment below. Team Jesse or Team Nelson? I feel like you're going to win this one. No, no, don't win. Don't let him win. Anyways, um, yeah, so this is just apple juice. Jennifer just always asks for apple juice anyways. I mean, it's not going to go to waste. And nothing here is going to go to waste, guys, just so you know. Uh, I'm going to guess that these were $2 for each bundle. That is correct. Yes! Good. Okay, good. That's not too bad. Now he went nuts for... And I think he just used this as an excuse to buy canned spam or luncheon meat this is not the actual real spam spam it's called holiday luncheon meat i mean this is really yummy on occasion this has like it's not nutritious whatsoever it's super high in fat super high in sodium but he said his his logic of it is that when push to shove and we need meat we have spam spam is nuclear food it will last through everything which is kind of scary on its own so he bought <laughs> 24 cans of spam meat. Now, he did say, though, that he bought extra in case our family and friends run out of food. Right? He said, yeah, right. No, I'm sure he went. I'm going to guess these are like $3 each. $3 each. Yeah? Yes. Okay, fine. $2.75. Uh still save 25 cents each, which every four is a dollar. Oh, my heart hurts a little bit. And it's gonna hurt even more if we eat this because I'm going to die of a heart attack from all the cholesterol. No offense, holiday meat. It's just, I'm sure you wouldn't suggest for one person to be eating 24 cans of it either. Okay, let's keep going. Basics, essentials, panda bread, legum gay, uh, oyster sauce. I use this for cooking. We're also halfway through, so we figured we also needed one. I will guess this is four bucks. Four bucks. Yeah? I'm getting pretty good at prices, guys. The price is right. Watch out. Salt. Also because we need it. $1.29. Yes. Oh, really? Yes. On the dot? On the dot. Oh my god, yes! Cornstarch. A thickener. And also apparently you can use it for baking. I usually pay for like less than a dollar for it. Uh, or a dollar even. But I must think a dollar fifty. Dollar twenty-nine. That was right now as well. Okay, milk. We got two bags of this. The other bag we're already consuming because we're low on milk. I know this is not going to last. We can freeze it, but when you have to freeze it, do you guys find this too? And if you have a way around this, let me know in the comments below. When you freeze milk, does it taste funny afterwards? I find it tastes funny. So I can use it for cooking, but to drink it tastes a little different. So let me know in the comments below if you feel the same way or if there is... Um, you know, something I could do to make it feel better. No, not feel better. <laughs> or there's something I could do to make it taste better. So yeah, we got two bags of this. I'm assuming completely regular price. Five twenty nine. Five thirty seven? Yeah. Next mundo, we have lots of beans. I don't know how to cook beans, but I'm gonna sure learn. We have two packages of organic black bean. Three dollars each. Two fifty. Two fifty, nice. There's also the organic red bean here, which I'm going to assume is also 250 because of the same packaging and everything and weight. These you can use in sweet soups and I don't know what else, but like Chinese pastries is very popular. Um, I think you can also like mix this with kanji. That's supposed to be really healthy. Never tried it, but yeah, I'm going to learn how to cook this. So we have two packages of black bean and two packages of the red bean. I'm wondering if these black beans, you guys can let me know whether or not I can put this in stews and chilies. I've never cooked chili before, so I would definitely like to know. In addition to those beans, we also got some other beans. We have a different kind of black bean. This is called a black turtle bean here. And didn't you say that like all the beans were almost sold out? Like literally, there are like only a couple packages left. There's this one here. There's also two packages of yellow whole peas. I've never had yellow whole peas. Is this what you make split pea soup out of? I have some ham in the freezer. We can make split pea soup. Oh, there's cooking instructions. Excellent. So there's two of these and one of these. I'm going to guess these are, they're really heavy. Uh, $4 each. $3. Oh, $3. Okay. 
$20. Yay! As if it's really money saved, but it's not. Yeah, but again, these are dry, so they're gonna last for a long time. Frozen stuff, so I can put these back into the freezer. If you had lasted this long to, in this video so far, thumbs up to you. Thank you for lasting this long, guys. Frozen veggies, so that not everything is canned. I love frozen veggies. I used to cook with a lot of frozen veggies. He got three bags of the frozen vegetable mix, and then I believe he got two bags of the broccoli florets. These go great into sauces. I prefer, like, I don't know, maybe it's the, the way I cooked it last time, but I found that with these ones, if I just kind of steam them, they kind of turn kind of mushy, but I mean, I never tried it like this, the Great Value brand, but the kind that I got last time was like that. So I would put this in more in a sauce or cream it and make it into like a broccoli cream soup, if you will. Um, these I love putting into, you can put stir fry these, or you can just blanch them, add some salt, pepper, and garlic powder and butter yum or i put this a lot of times into my spaghetti sauces and Ginevra doesn't know the difference so those are good or you scramble ooh, ooh, ooh. you take this scramble it with some eggs and add the lunch and meat ah that's really really yummy like really yummy well i guess these are two dollars each two dollars yes good continuing with the vegetable mix he also purchased several cans of this Canned garden medley. 12 cans of these. It's green giant, so I'm gonna assume they're gonna be a little bit more expensive. $2 a can. $1.70. $1.70? That's kinda of expensive. That's actually pretty expensive. Yeah, you're, but you would have been better off buying more of the frozen. We do not have freezer. Z. Oh, that's true. It's because we have very low freezer space. But value-wise, the frozen ones are actually a better value than these. But Green Giant is a very yummy brand. I like their I like their frozen vegetables. I think I had their can, their canned corn before, but I don't know otherwise. Water chestnuts. I love cooking with water chestnuts. I like the crunch. I like the texture, and I believe it's like. In Chinese cooking, it's like it helps to hoisap yi, which is helps to reduce the heat in your body. Uh, you can put these into desserts. You can put these into. I like to put these in my dumplings, and also just a great in a stir fry or into a Chinese meatloaf. It's really really yum. When I, I'll probably end up doing a lot of cooking video guys with all these ingredients, so stay tuned for that as well. I'm gonna guess these were a dollar twenty. 99 cents. 99 cents! Woo! That's decent. Good score, honey. Eight cans of baby corn in brine. So when you cook, when I cook this, I have to make sure these are going to be salty already and adjust my salt content. I remember at the restaurant, we used to put this into like different stir fries. They're just kind of really cute. So you can put them into, I think the only thing I can know how to do is just really put it into a stir fry. I'll look up some other recipe guys, but yeah, they're, they're tasty. They are tasty, these ones. I'm gonna guess these are a dollar each. $1.50. Wow, come play. Oh, well, then again, they're smaller. Okay. Okay, fine. Yeah, it's a dollar fifty. It's okay because the Green Giant itself was already a dollar seventy-five, right? Yeah, so it's okay. It's okay. But the like, Green Giant get a little bit more variety. Um, this is just pure corn, which is fine as well we'll figure out some recipes with that that's gonna be a challenge on its own just figuring out like bunkering down recipes that's gonna be fun three loaves of whole wheat bread i well normally i wouldn't suggest to get three loaves of bread but it's because the deal was three for six dollars so nelson bought three so i'm impressed with that if i had freezer space i would say freeze these and it'll be fine the other thing that i found have worked i actually put them into my cupboard um, where it's away from direct sunlight and it's a slightly drier area and they've kept a, for quite some time but we can make bread pudding or we can make grilled cheese or we just have a sandwich and Ginevra likes bread for breakfast anyway um the other thing that he got was canned campbell's soup so he bought both uh, tomato and cream of mushroom and he ended up getting a total of 24 cans of soup it's not that i'm just going to eat that as is i use it a lot in my cooking so i'll cook with the soup as opposed to just drinking it as is and i don't think i've ever drank mushroom soup as is nor have i had like cream of tomato soup as is not from a can anyways i'm going to guess that they were on sale for 50 cents, because that's been the going rate lately. Yeah? 50 cents? Really? Nathaniel says yes. He's five months old today. Say hi. Hi, five.
bugaboos. Hi. Hello, fine Mansoor. I have like five more things. We have this, which is, what is it? Bean curd crust. I have never eaten this before. I don't know what it is. But apparently it's bean curd crust. I wonder if it's a snack or if I'm supposed to cook it because it looks like it's deep fried already. I want to figure out what to do with it. Maybe I could braise it. I can braise it with some like beef and carrots. Um, I'm going to guess this was seven bucks. Four dollars. Four dollars. Four dollars. Okay, it's good. These are bean curd. I don't know how. It's called fujo in Chinese, but I don't know what they're called in English. And it doesn't say, oh, dry bean curd sticks. These are great in kanji. You can also use them in desserts with egg and uh, rock sugar. Yummy, 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 yummy. Or you can also braise it if you eat lamb. I don't eat lamb, but you can braise it with lamb and some radish or just whatever. I mean, it's very versatile. It's a very mild flavor. And I think it's supposed to be relatively good for you. I've never personally cooked with it, but I'm going to be learning. I'm going to get these for two fifty each. $4. Ah, yeah. Expensive. This was a bit of a luxury. Absolutely no nutritional value, but lots of snack value. Chips Doritos in case I need a chip fix. Not very often that we eat chips, but every now and then you just need to have some chips. In my household anyways. I don't know about your household, but yeah. So we just got some chips. We bought three packs. So I'm going to guess that they were three for ten. Three for eight dollars. Oh, okay, 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 that's not bad. Although they are a little small, but that's okay. Three for eight dollars. Were a lot of the chips gone? Like a lot of the snacks gone? No. No? Oh, okay. People are being smart. Don't be dumb like us and buy like absolutely no nutritional value snacks. And now, last but not least, this would not be an Asian household. Could be an Asian household if you don't buy this product, but most Asian households will always have an extra bag of rice. Ta-da! But Nelson, being Nelson, he didn't buy one bag of rice. He bought two bags of rice. Again, it's one of those just-in-case things, in case his parents, my parents, our next-door neighbor needs extra food, or well, maybe, I don't know if our next-door neighbor eats rice, but, you know, our friends that do eat rice, if they need whatever, whatever they need, at least that way we have a stockpile of stuff. And he got two bags of that, and that is the complete haul. That is everything we bought. Wow, that was really long. I feel like I talked for a very, very long time, so if you're still here, again, big thumbs up to you. Now i got a tally. Oh my god, I don't even know where to start. I'm gonna pull a number out of my butt because I've been talking for about half an hour straight now. Uh, I'm gonna say we paid $400 for this. 380. <laughs> oh my god, $380. Wow. That's a lot, but that's okay because our family is going to be fed. We didn't go too nuts. I think we did go a little overboard, but I don't think we went like crazy overboard, but this is like, just in case it's gonna be lasting longer than two weeks. And if someone gets sick or we just can't get out of the house for a period of time because things are shutting down. I just heard that they are also, um, uh they just shut down a bunch of municipal offices for the next three weeks and a lot of the community like march break camps and community centers have all shut down for three weeks so i mean it is just being kind of safe about it and it's not like we hoarded everything i, I heard some stories where people are actually like hoarding everything they're clearing the shelf completely of specific items and i do not suggest that guys don't do that you know buy enough for you and your loved ones to last for like two weeks to a month i think this will be about a month's worth and a little bit more for us um plus i have some extra like like protein like actual meat meat in my freezer just be really smart about it like i mean just don't panic there's no point in panicking hopefully you can we can still order things like i mean if we need to like food delivery services amazon and etc 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 and you can always make do with what you have you can be creative it might not be your kids most favorite thing to eat but you know what as another mommy said today while we're having a conversation yeah. suck it up buttercup at least your tummy's full right so hopefully with all this we will be able to stay I hopefully have somewhat of a balanced diet for the next little while. Um, I will share with you some recipes that I am going to come up with as well as some learning curves I will have from trying to learn how to cook some of these things that I've never used before. So that's going to be fun. If you have any good recipes on how to cook with black bean and black turtle beans and 
yellow whole peas, please let me know. And hopefully it's nothing to do with grinding because I don't have a grinder. That's our complete haul. The definitely most expensive grocery haul. I've never seen so much food on my counter before. It's, it's kind of bonkers, but it's fine. What do you guys think? Are we missing anything? And I'm not even gonna ask, do you think that we overstocked on some stuff? Because yes, for sure, we overstocked on that spam. Spam. <laughs> some of the spam gotta go. Nelson's so happy, so excited, because I never buy spam. I never buy lunch in meat. It is not healthy. But he was like, I sent him out, and he's like, oh, should I get some lunch in meat? I'm like, sure, get a bit. And his bit is 24 cans. This is why I usually do groceries with him. But I mean, overall, I am very grateful that he went out to do it so that I could stay home and take care of the babies so that not we don't have like screaming children while trying to line up and things. So I'm going to close off this video, guys. Thank you so much for joining us on this like really, really, really extensive yet exciting grocery haul that we did not save very much money on, but that's okay. If you enjoy my haul videos, make sure you do let me know by either giving me a big fat thumbs up or let me know in the comment section below. And also let me know how are you preparing in the case that you cannot get out of the house or in the case that we are, you know, in a lockdown. Other things like the toiletries, the hand sanitizers and soap, we already had, so we didn't have to go out to buy extra of. That way, the community has, not that the community has more, but I didn't really want to hoard it for our family because we have, I know we have enough. And there's other measures. And the best thing to do, guys, and I, we've been hearing and hearing it, but I'm going to reiterate again, wash your hands. Sing happy birthday twice. Sing a song. Sing ABCs twice. I don't know. Count to 20. Just make sure you do wash your hands really, really well. Stay safe. If you're not feeling well, stay home until the symptoms have passed. If you are traveling for March break, make sure that you do just if you can self quarantine for two weeks, especially if you're traveling outside of the country, it's just we're trying to prevent community spread. I am not paranoid, I think, unless this is me being paranoid, but I'm kind of delusional with the fact that I am actually paranoid thinking that I'm not paranoid, but I don't feel like I'm paranoid. I am being, I'm, I'm concerned. I have genuine concern over the situation, but I feel like overall we'll be okay. And that's it, guys. So once again, if you're new to this channel, make sure you do smash that subscribe button as well as a little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. And if you're interested in checking out my dance adventures as well as my Avon product reviews, business tips, and more, make sure you also jump over to my The Dancing Avon Lady channel. We'll see you guys next time. I love you. Mwah! Bye! All right, now to clean up this mess.